Hey everyone, my name is Anders, and today we are going to go over the Black Desert updates for the week. First, let's talk about this big announcement of a new accessory Jay's Hammer. This item works the same way as the old Jay Hammer, but for accessories and with some added restrictions. You can get this hammer one time per account, but you need to have played over 200 hours. You need to have completed the Medaya main story at least once, and you need to have at least one character level 61 or above. If you meet all of these requirements, you can find the hammer in your challenge reward tab when you log in after maintenance and to use it you need to have at least a dual version of the listed accessories however the only enhancement you should be using these for is pen debaraka the debaraka ring is not included in the list so you can't save the hammer for that they even specify the list will not be updated for newly added accessories the hammer will guarantee you will not downgrade your attempt everything else remains the same you have until the end of november of this year to get this hammer. If you have the hammer and you don't have a Debaraka to use it on, selling it does make sense, but right now on NA and EU server prices are starting to drop. They should go back up in the future as supply starts to dwindle, but right now it may be difficult to sell depending on when you watch this video. In Korea, the price is plummeting as players who don't need it are desperately trying to sell it at the lowest price they're allowed, so it may take a few days for price to stabilize. I don't think it will reach max price anytime soon soon if you were waiting for that. This is a good time however to buy hammers for attempts if you have the silver or put up orders on Penda Baraka that may be getting sold by lucky players. With that said we need to talk about another major announcement to do with the enhancement system. This week's Global Labs will unveil a new enhancement system for BDO or a revamp that will introduce a pity system. The direct announcement says that for adventurers who failed their enhancements after countless attempts a system guarantees successful enhancement after a set number of attempts will be introduced in detail in the Black Desert Global Lab April 5 Friday update. All attempts recorded after midnight on January 1st, 2024 will be applied retroactively. We don't know much else about the pity system at the moment, but this is big news for the game. Introducing pity for a high value item or high value enhancements is something that has been talked about for a long time, so we may finally be seeing it implemented into the game. Let me know what you think about the new J Hammer and the possibility of a pity enhancement system down in the comments. But moving on, we have a lot more updates to go through. Barter improvements happen today. Barter refresh has a cooldown reduction from four hours to two hours. Crow's trade voucher cooldown has been reduced to two hours to reflect the new barter refresh timers. Ship material refresh parlay points consumed has been reduced to just 10 points instead of 40 and 30 points instead of 50 for the second refresh. During ship material barter refreshes, they have increased the amount of trades for certain rare items from 1 to 2. The number of butter trades for Brilliant Rock Salt Ingot, Brilliant Pearl Shard, and Great Ocean Dark Iron had been increased by 1. Crow Coin prices for materials needed in Carrick Crafting have been reduced significantly. The amount of Crow Coins you obtain from selling these materials remains the same. A new weekly quest has been added. It's going to reward you with 2 Combat Cox Pirates Artifacts, some Sailing XP, and some Contribution XP. You need to defeat 20 young sea monsters to complete the quest. The normal three dailies from Ravikel and Aquila have been unified into one quest. You need to defeat five young sea monsters to complete the quest, and you will get the same amount of rewards as if you had completed all three quests before this change. Young sea monster locations and density have been improved to facilitate completing your dailies. Weekly quests that required you to defeat three sea monsters have been reduced to needing just one of each. Rewards for these have also been improved. The Candidum quest for example now gives you four ruddy manganese nodules the nine shark quest now offers two tiers of the ocean and the black rust quest now offers six combat cox pirates artifacts as additional rewards dailies are award you with carrick materials have been improved to give one to two more per quest level two and level three barter goods can now be exchanged for fiery and frosted black stones level two will get you either two fiery black stones or one frosted black stone level three will get you either four fiery or two frosted new land material traits have also been added clear liquid reagent powder of time powder of earth powder of rift tiger meat cinnamon date palm and fig have all been added to the list some land materials have in effect been removed from the list weapon and armor black stones dragon skill fossils corrupted breath and tyrant's blood the amount of land materials needed for trades have been reduced across the board and lastly the riddle me barter support boxes have been changed you can receive up to 10 when exploring islands and they will each give you a set amount 
of land materials, any boxes you had before this update will remain the same. Next, we have cooking and alchemy. Failures have been improved. With this update, you can fail or get a recipe wrong without losing any ingredients. Horse taming minigame timer has been reduced to 6 seconds from 11 seconds. For blackstones, we have the simplification process, at least part 1 with this patch. You can exchange any of your armor versions into weapon versions by speaking to the black spirit. Next week, they will update the acquisition and naming, so weapon blackstones will simply be called blackstones from now on. This change also makes it so armors can now be enhanced to plus 7 at a 100% rate. All boss scrolls you have have been deleted and converted into silver according to their value. Life XP transfer coupons can no longer be sold or used. You will get refunded if you have recently bought any. This is because life XP levels will be converted to account wide levels soon. Next, we have Dekia Road Silver Mine added to the game, a new grind spot. You will need 920 AP and 440 DP to grind here. Drops include Map of an Unknown Peace, Debaraka Earring, Manos Craftsman's Clothes, Sissel's Necklace, Scrolls, and Kafra Stone. For UI updates, the old menu is expected to end after the maintenance in the first week of May. They have improved the Monster Zone Info UI to now display usable locations for the Dekia's Lantern in Pila Coup and Road Sulfur Mine. For events, we have a few. We have the new returning player reward calendar. This is going to get you seven days of buffs, a random box, and some enhancement materials. We also have a Seal of Mellow Dreams event. You can log in, grind, gather, or fish for these seals and exchange them through the new UI. Some of the items you can get are Dim Origin of Dark Hunger, a 150 stack, Supreme Old Moon box, crons, and other enhancement materials. You're going to need 1,005 of these seals to get all of the items. There is also a daily special starting. This will give you two weeks of rewards with the option of buying the special pass for additional rewards. At the end here, we seem to be getting a base Debaraka accessory selection box. The special pass for additional rewards like crons and other materials will cost you $35. They have a step up promo where you spend more money to get even more materials. For loyalty, you can get the intriguing adventure random box for 1000 loyalty. It comes with two loot scrolls. And in Korea this week, they received a new outfit. So I'll leave you with a showcase here at the very end. And that's all for today. Let me know your thoughts on the update, the J Hammer, the new pity system that's coming. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.